Clipper TV. Don't forget it. Clipper TV. Don't you sweat it. Cause we got all your news and a few interviews. Cause it's Clipper. Clipper TV. What's up, YHS? We out here, sitting in room number 409. Boy, do we have exciting news for you. Oh, Isabel. You know what William Shakespeare says about spring? What's that, Isabel? It hath put a spirit of youth in everything. Oh, Isabel, that it do, that it do. You know what doesn't put a spirit of youth in spring? Cribbage in the basement? No, the SAT. All juniors at Yarmouth High School will be taking the SATs on Tuesday, April 12th. So grab your number two pencils and your happy spring mood. And prepare for four hours of irrelevant science reports and math that nobody knows how to do. Juniors and sophomores also just finished their CEP job shadows. In other school news, the Senior Variety Show will be held on Friday, April 8th. The money raised supports project graduation. It's a show for everyone, so don't you scared freshmen sigh away from a heck of a good time. In sports news, spring sports started their preseasons this week. Girls lacrosse and softball are looking to defend their state championship titles. Boys lacrosse is still hoping to beat Cape. I have faith in you, Father. Track is still running, crew is still rowing, and sailing is still sailing. Now let's head to our reporter in the field for a more in-depth look of the spring sports season. Hey, I'm Nico Whitlock here with two excellent senior leaders on the softball team. Can you introduce yourselves, please? Mari Cooper. <clears throat> Colleen Sullivan. Thank you very much. So, do you guys have any feelings about this upcoming season? Um, we're feeling pretty good about it. It's a little rough so far, but you know, we're getting there and I think we're a little bit ahead where we were when we started off last year, so that's a good sign. What kind of sunglasses are your favorite to wear during the softball? Well, Nico, <laughs> I just uh, bought some brand new Oakleys. They're uh, pretty freaking expensive, but <laughs> definitely worth it. So Solid. Mari? I don't wear any sunglasses. I like it. All right, so you guys won the state championship last year, which is pretty dang sweet. How do you feel about this year? Yeah, so it was our first in program history, which was pretty exciting. Um, and right now we're trying to not focus on actually winning states. We're just taking it game by game. That's the best, best way to do it. So <laughs> it's, it's going good. That's what I like to hear. That's the role model for all spring sports right there. Thank you, and back to you. Now, for those of you who don't know about music, have we got the inside scoop for you. Check out Studio B Millhouse. Senior Evan O'Neill started a monthly gathering for all you lovers of the arts at Yarmouth High School. Let's see what she has to say about that. Thanks, guys. So, could you explain a little bit more about Millhouse at Studio B? Yeah, sure. So, the Millhouse at Studio B um, is basically a place where people outside of Yarmouth um, well, people in the Yarmouth community, but a place outside physically of Yarmouth can come to express themselves through um, music, like playing music, bringing art, um, reading poetry or other writing. Um, and it's basically like a forum, a forum, an open forum, like an open mic sort of thing um, where people can come gather and they can just hang out and listen to other people express themselves or do something themselves. Um, but yeah, basically it's like an open mic. Very cool. And what inspired you to create Mailhouse? Um, what inspired me was kind of what I said before. I wanted like a place, or I wanted like a place. I love Yarmouth and everything it has to offer and the community feel, but it's also very structured at the same time. So I wanted something like outside of Yarmouth, um, separate from the school that is less structured. And um, what inspired me was wanting that kind of place for people to come express themselves. And I love poetry and writing and music. And um, I, like my mom pushed me to do this. She pushed me to like figure out a space that I could have this happen. And so I was lucky enough to know Rhonda and Ben Birkbeck. Rhonda is an interior designer and Ben um, teaches music lessons to kids in Yarmouth. And they have a really cool space in the bottom of the mill, which is where I hold it. Um, so they inspired me and my mom inspired me and just like my love of the arts inspired me too, I guess. Great. And you're going off to college next year. So do you have any um, ideas for how Millhouse will continue when you're gone? Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about that, actually. Um, I want, I definitely want it to continue. I would love for someone 
um, maybe a junior, sophomore, underclassman to carry on the tradition. Um, I have a few people that I've been talking to, but um, no one has really strongly come forward and like asked me directly for it. So if you're interested or you want to see it continue, let me know and we could talk and maybe figure something out. But yeah, I'd love to see it continue after I leave for college. Great. And the next mill house is at Wednesday, April 13th. Boy, is that music to my ears. Mine too. Well, let's take a look at what other YHS students are up to. Sam Potter just started his new business, Labor Lion. Nick Prado, take it away, son. Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Sam, who's going to tell us a little bit about Labor Lion. So Sam, how did you get started with Labor Lion? Um, I used to do a lot of work around town, and I was, um, I was really interested in doing lawn mowing, raking, shoveling, that kind of thing around town. Um, but there was really no way to like aggregate jobs or aggregate how much money I was making or anything. Um, so I figured there was a way to decrease on these pain points for students who wanted to make some money and then homeowners who wanted to get jobs done. Um, so the result of that was a platform to connect the two um, in a way that, that both sides were, were happy with it. Nice, nice. So how can we get involved? Yeah, so LaborLion sign up is really easy. It's www.laborlion.com. Um, or you can just go to my Instagram profile and the, it's linked right there. Uh, we're revamping the site, but it should be up and ready right um, in about two weeks or so because we're getting a new developer involved. Um, but go ahead, sign up, um, and jobs are posted on a weekly basis. Cool. Sounds like a plan. You got any final words for the viewers of Clipper TV? You know what? I do, Nick, and it's going to involve me taking off my shirt. Is that okay with you? That's okay with me, Sam. Potter for president. Well, that's all, folks. Before we sign off, I think Walter and Patrick have a question for the student body. Take it away, boys. <laughs> and that's boys with a Z. Or an S. <laughs> Z. Or an S. Oh, hey, I'm Pat. And I'm Walt. And in honor of April showers, we're going to be asking the student body today, what's your favorite thing to do in the rain? Let's go see what the students have to say. What's your favorite thing to do in the rain? Um, I like to go on walks with my girlfriend, Sydney. I like to go outside when it's raining outside. and just play in the puddles. Um, I like to dance. I just sit inside and watch TV. What's your favorite thing to do in the rain? Splash the puddles. You like take off your shoes and you like get in like shorts and a t-shirt and you like run around outside when it's like pouring because it's so much fun because you can like run super long. Yeah. I kind of just stay in my PJs and watch Netflix. I like to stay inside and read, I guess. I like to stay inside and watch Netflix. <laughs> Probably stay in bed. What's your favorite thing to do in the rain? Play lacrosse. Anyone? I like to sleep. Uh, go surfing. Dancing. Oh, I like dancing in the rain. I just love splashing around in puddles. What do you like to do in the rain? I like to roll. Wow, we're uh, we're here with the celebrity today, Mona. I don't like the rain. It makes my pink dribble. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in the rain? Uh, dance outside shirtless. Wow. I like to jump in puddles. <laughs> I like to jump in the rain, I guess. Dance. What's your favorite song to dance to in the rain? Dancing in the rain. 